Right. Good evening, my people. Right, tonight I'm going to come from the book of Ezra. And I'm going to start at chapter 1. And it says, Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in right and same. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord God of heaven has given me and he has commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah, who is amongst you of all his people. May his God be with him and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build a house of the Lord God of Israel. He is God, which is in Jerusalem. And whoever is left in any place where he dwells, let the men of his place help him with silver and gold, with goods and liver stock, besides the free will offerings for the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of the fathers of the house of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and Levites, with all whose spirits God had moved, arose to go up and build the house of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem. And all those who were around them encouraged them with articles of silver and gold, with goods, liver stock, and with precious things, besides all that was willingly offered. Now King Cyrus also brought out the articles of the house of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken from Jerusalem and put them in the temple of his gods. And Cyrus, king of Persia, brought them out by the hand of Merithath, the treasurer, and counted them out to Shishabasa, the priest of Judah. So, when we go to chapter 1, so we got the, we got Cyrus, right? Now, he's the king of Persia. Now, Cyrus, he was a good king. And at the time, you've got to remember, the children of Israel had been taken captive by Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar. So the children of Israel, they were scattered. And Jeremiah, wait, if you read the book of Jeremiah, he was telling the children of Israel, you're going to go into captive. And they are going to come and they are going to burn the temple down and destroy the temple that Solomon built. So Babylon's come and they've destroyed the temple of Solomon. They've destroyed everything he built. They destroyed Jerusalem because the children of Israel were disobedient to the Lord. And the Lord gave them many warnings through his prophet. And it's the same as us today, right? The Lord comes, he gives us warnings through his prophets and his people that talk to, talk to you. I like myself, but we don't listen. So then we go into captivity. But the beautiful thing about this is the Lord, he raised up King Cyrus. Now, King Cyrus wasn't part of the Jewish community. He, he didn't follow the same God. But he still had enough wisdom and knowledge that the, the Lord had put inside of him. And because he's saying the Lord God of heaven has given me. So he knew that the Lord God of heaven had given him. command to build a new temple a new house at jerusalem because it says and then because it says and he has commanded me to build him a house at jerusalem which is in judah so the lord gave ezra these revelations and king cyrus helped ezra and he told ezra to go and get all of the things that you need go and get all the men that you need and build the new house for the Lord. But if you read further on, which I haven't got time, there was many men that shunned it as well because they didn't fully trust King Cyrus because King Cyrus wasn't part of the Jewish people. So they thought that, you know, they, what was his motive? What was he up to? And it's like us, if someone comes into church that's different, you know, that may not know our God, that, you know, that 
maybe not following the, the, the correct ways of the, the, the church life, the Christian, the gospel life, we shun them. We don't know what their motives are. And we say, no, you can't help. We don't want to do it. And you lose out on a blessing. But thankfully, Ezra, he was a prophet. And he, he, he spent a lot of time praying and fasting to the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, there's going to be people that come into your life, right? That don't know your God. That don't know anything about your church. But they're going to be powerful. And everything that the, the enemy has stole from your life, either through your disobedience or, you know, you not being close to the Lord and the Lord giving you revelations, people helping you. But now he's going to come and he's going to send someone your way. But that person probably will not be the normal person. This person will be out of character to what you're normal to, to what your surroundings are normal to. But I'm telling you now, yeah, listen to this person when he comes, because this person will help you build your new life with God. He will help you build your new temple with God. Yeah, which is your spirit inside of you. Yeah. Your King Cyrus will come and he will tell and he will give you articles of silver and gold and things. And he will say, go forth. Yeah. And build the new temple. Talk about the Lord. Bring it out to the people. Set your people free that have been cap put in captivity for so many years and that are scattered around the world. Draw them back by your words. OK. God bless my brother and sister. Lord, may you implant my brothers and sisters with the knowledge that they need. Will you, will you guide their footsteps and bless them with wisdom like you did with Solomon to understand that the people that are going to come into their life might not be the ordinary people, but do not shun them. It's your boy gifted one. Hashtag. Faith dealer forever, yeah? I'm on it. Amen.